Senate and um, all protocols observed, all the dignitaries here, I recognize you. Your Excellency, our constitution creates a very elaborate yet crucial mechanism for accountability of all people who are delegated with the authority to act on behalf of the people of Kenya in whose hands the sovereignty of this country rests. That accountability, Your Excellency, sir, ladies and gentlemen, is at different levels. First, the direct accountability system between the President and the people of Kenya through the elections. In between, the Constitution creates arms of government. The executive, led by His Excellency the President, the judiciary, and the Houses of Parliament. It is argued that increasingly our constitution and many other democratic constitutions have created a fourth arm of government, and that is the independent offices, other than the judiciary, because they are not the executive, they are not in the judiciary, they are not in the legislature, yet they are constitutional it's a form, uh, formations which help our democracy to move forward. Two of these arms of government are devolved, the executive and legislature. All these arms of government are arms of one government of the Republic of Kenya. The more reason, Your Excellency, sir, that on an occasion like this one, other arms of government come to witness and also to support the executive because we are all arms of one government of the Republic of Kenya. Going forward, under your leadership, Your Excellency, we hope we'll be able to build greater harmony and coherence among the arms of government and the two levels of government because all of us, from yourself and everybody else exercising authority in this country of whatever nature, does so on behalf of the people of Kenya and the government is one but with various arms and various levels as I have outlined. Therefore, Your Excellency, it is a great occasion for us today even as we look at the performance contracts of those of us who are in the executive, as we make sure that we enhance our accountability to the people of Kenya as you lead us. The second and last remark I want to make, Your Excellency, sir, is I've been reflecting on, uh, on a day like this one, what this means to us who are here. It means that we are expected in the context in which we, have, we exercise our mandates to ensure that whatever commitments we make, we fulfill them. Because accountability demands transparency, report back, and evaluation. And Your Excellency, it is my very humble view that in the context of a very vibrant democracy that Kenya is, going forward, we have to work harder, faster, more efficiently if we have to keep pace with a very vibrant democracy that our country has become. Your Excellency, I'm happy to be part of this and I promise you from where I sit to support you and to work with all the other colleagues as you lead us to deliver a better Kenya, a more inclusive Kenya, a Kenya 
that is sensitive to the needs of its people, and a government that is sensitive and responds to the needs and aspirations of the people of Kenya. Permit me, Your Excellency, to request all my colleagues to be upstanding as I welcome you to address us. Mr. President, you're welcome, and thank you very much for this occasion.